me back here again and with a very new machine called Don't Stop. Actually, Don't Stop is a very new machine. You can find it on the Vernable Hub website and download it from there. So uh, I'm gonna split the video on two parts. The first part, I'm gonna walk you through how to get the flags. Actually, there are eight flags, okay? We're gonna collect and gather like for example uh, four or five flags and in part two we're gonna continue uh, to the rest of the two flags actually first thing you do is doing nmap scan on the vulnerable machine to discover the open ports and their associated services you're gonna find here uh, SSH and SMTP and some kind of HTTP and the port 111. Basically, the best practice is making your notes while practicing uh, and uh, trying to test the security of the vulnerable machines. The best thing to do is taking notes. So that's what I did. Here, I have taken notes in order to follow with the process. So, okay, now, now first thing you're going to do, as you can see here, the first flag you're going to find it in by connecting to the SMTP server. So here I have the SMTP server running on port 25, so basically we're going to launch a new terminal. And from here, we're going to type netcat, the IP address of the vulnerable machine, and the port. And here, we're going to decode. We're going to decode this, okay? And you're going to get the flag, which is here, okay? So this is the first flag actually. The second flag is, as you can see here, you can take the second flag by doing directory traversal using Deerbuster. So actually I'm not gonna launch Deerbuster right now because it's gonna take some time to find the directory which is control. Okay, but uh, the first step, or uh, sorry, the main thing is you launch Deerbuster, okay, and choose the big word list, okay, and use that word list to find the control directory. So if you go to the control directory here, I'm gonna show you. I launch my browser. Okay. Let me cancel my association with Burp Suite. So going to network, choosing no proxy, hitting OK, control. Okay then. So here's the control, uh, the, the web page that existed in the control directory on the vulnerable machine. So by collapsing those fields, you're not going to find anything. But if you click on, right click on view page source, you will see here. There it is. So this is the second flag, okay? It's very basic, it's very simple. I mean, uh, this uh, vulnerable machine, it's uh, the most, the easiest vulnerable machine I have ever come uh, while practicing vulnerable machines. 
so it's very basic very simple you just do nmap scan you just uh, do some kind of uh, net cut directory traversal deer buster uh, directory indexing and exploiting some known vulnerabilities it's very easy and very basic actually and this is the second flag the third flag you will get by navigating to control gs okay so and again those directories you can find them by using deer buster and launching the big word list so if i go okay sorry so control gs okay now the flag is i think if i click on it's basically in one of those files okay so here's the flag okay this is the second flag basic enumeration skills required going back here now here I have discovered some kind of file PHP file on the host it's possible command injection as I uh, found out I'm gonna show you the directory I have discovered by Dear Buster. So this is the, the file here. Oops. Oh, I forgot where the file is. Never mind. Uh, actually, I didn't use this file so far okay now here from where I got this domain actually I'm gonna show you from where so here if you go back here and Actually, there's a domain, a BB, a BB forum, so slash here the PSP my admin. Actually, if you navigate to this database, you're not going to find anything relevant to your attack or to your test. So just ignore it. But actually, there is a file or there is a directory that if I access, it will guide me to another domain. I'm going to launch Dear Buster right now as I forgot what's the name of that directory. So here, look at up my host and use block extension browse user share. I'm gonna use uh, common this time start okay we must type the URL Okay, I'm gonna pause the video till the pastor finishes its work and I'm gonna get back to you. Okay, me back here. And after using the buster, uh, there was a file or a directory in control, which is control GS. I actually haven't paid attention to. As you can see, after we found the second flag, 
you can see here that it's telling that don't, it's, the, the domain is don't stop me the ttf so by adding this uh, domain to your host file I'm gonna show you my host file to show you what it looks like so clear so it's the only thing you need to do is adding the IP address of the virtual machine along with the domain to which is it's pointing so here if I open the domain it would show me a, sorry it's gonna show me a forum so here as you can see it's a forum okay now to make this simple okay don't try I mean I, I tried to make some kind of XSS I have uh, used uh, an account on the forum and tried some kind of SQL and actually it's not vulnerable to SQL injection attack so if you try to log in for example with or and use that statement here click on login as you can see here there is some kind of threshold or uh, fail ban in order to prevent uh, brute forcers to get access to the uh, admin's account by restricting the possible number of the possible number of uh, attempts for login process so you can't use brute force you can use SQL injection it's not vulnerable but upon using uh, uh, but upon forcing the uh, error statements to be shown whenever an SQL attempt is uh, performed uh, the uh, web page here has shown me some kind of I'm gonna show you the domain here okay now this domain you're gonna get this domain if you try to force the uh, backend database to show you an error whenever you try to SQL injection the interface here so I can't now as you can see it's telling me that I've exceeded the maximum allowed number of login attempts okay so you need to have it when you first open the domain here just try to uh, force error the SQL inject when you do an SQL injection for example if you launch your purpose suite here and let me activate my proxy advanced settings and manual proxy configuration so if I choose manual and here going back okay now if I refresh the page or if I fill in some random fields and getting the capture field login okay now if you try to use burp suite to perform SQL injection or brute force SQL injection for both the username and the password fields so if we send that to the intruder and the intruder here will get started 
global sorry the positions here you need to choose are just first clear okay now use the username field click on add use the password field and click on add use cluster bomb why cluster bomb cluster bomb will take the payloads you choose for both the username and password field and iterate through each one of them okay so for example if you got one file of payloads for the username and one file for and one file of uh, payloads for the password it's gonna take the first uh, injection from the first file for the username uh, excuse me, it's gonna take the first file for the username payloads and try all the usernames with the first um, line in the second file for the passwords so eventually you're gonna end up with every possible attempt uh, performed on the backend database so once you do this okay you're gonna get an output on one of the payloads that's showing you there is an error from the database and this error containing the um, this domain you're gonna find this error on the bottom of this page now I can't do this because as you can see the server blocks me I can't iterate or do brute force so I just wanted to show you the way how it's gone how it's done sorry so let me close the perp suite perp suite here and let me have the proxy off back again settings no proxy okay now here I need to okay great now after we get the this domain name let's navigate to this domain name to see what we can get here this is a missile game okay you have to play it here i mean it's not required it's not compulsory it's not obligatory to have an idea or to have the know-hows for uh, the game in order to get the flag actually the flag or getting the flag is separate separate completely from uh, knowing how to play the game so here if you launch again Deepbuster this game actually guys is enumeration try to enumerate as much as, as you can okay if you launch Deepbuster okay and use the word list as I typed here for you for your own reference if you want to try to this vulnerable machine use this word list okay and if you use this word list you're gonna find the textures directory okay but before you jump to the text textures okay you're gonna find this directory here okay how you find this directory by going to game.js again how you get game.js file on this uh, domain again by using the buster so if you go to game gs suppose we uh, finished the tier buster okay nothing found let me access the directory the website click on view page source and from here from here you can see different directories and different files on the server if you click on source game 
and scroll down a bit we should find the director again let me re-scroll carefully okay now here as you can see there is a directory that if we fail on winning the game it, the web server it's gonna the web server is gonna send us to this directory okay now if you take this put it here completely different site a completely different page as you can see here now this page you're gonna take this domain including this directory and use dealbuster to find that there is another directory called textures okay now if you click if you type textures here you can see directory listing of the available directories and files okay if you click on skybox down clouds and pz you're gonna find this kind of octal code okay now how to decode this uh, string just go to this site it's fox on it's fox editor okay and paste this code upon pasting this code you're gonna get the flag which is actually the fourth flag okay now if we go back now the the now, now upon finishing this phase upon upon getting the fourth flag okay you're gonna find this domain here okay now don't forget to add on every step on every step of getting a new flag and figuring out a new domain name don't forget to add this domain name to your host file in order to get access to the to that domain if you forget to add this domain to your host file you will not be able to access that domain okay so this file here, uh, this domain here is found by, as you can see here, uh, so uh, given, the, given the fact that we have found this um, directory, you and using Deepbuster, we're going to find another directory here. If I go to that directory, I will get directory listing as you can see here. Navigating through this list, just go to hex gl and gameplay.js. And here, upon inspecting this JavaScript, you will find the other domain you need to navigate through to get the fifth flag okay that's it it's basic it's very streamlined vulnerable machine you just need to enumerate the vulnerable machine so taking this and as i told you i already have added the domain to my host file so i just kind of can access this domain as you can see this kind of terminal okay if you type any command, it's gonna requ it, it requires you to enter some password. Now, don't go so far, don't go so away when trying to figure out the password. Actually, it's very, very simple. Just type in the password, the domain name here. Okay. Now, if I type the domain name here, uh, Actually, it's just the domain part. Copying this, paste, 
authentication as you can see we are we have been authenticated just don't try to uh, use hydra or any other password cracking uh, software it's very simple just paste the domain part and you will be authenticated actually it's not realistic to have uh, a vulnerable machine or a vulnerability test where you have one of your passwords is very plain and very simple just is your domain name or your email address just kind of like you have uh, your email okay and your password you just put your password the same as your email or you put your um, your um, for example your admin password for your admin access on your website you put it as the same as the name of your domain it's actually kind of not realistic to have this as a penetration test no never mind if you type the current directory it's going to require as you can see we are able to launch commands here now if you click uh, type ls it, it doesn't get recognized if we type uh, uh, sudo to get root for example okay password required sudo it doesn't get recognized so not all of the commands are recognized in this terminal here so trying to list the files doesn't re doesn't get recognized so if we type grep star grep star stands for listing all the directories or the subdirectories under the main directory we are in right now okay so password required grip and here are the subdirectories existed in the main directory we are in right now so here there is a domain name okay now copying this and navigating to this domain name here you will see i mean a web page that's auto refreshing every one second to display a new image okay as you can see here instead of you so now if you try to save every image that's being displayed in this loop you will get uh, i mean like type of uh, seven or nine images upon testing them i have found out that the this image which is king migosta is the actual image we are interested in so here let me open a new terminal and save tool here you will see a comment and this base 64 value if we take this value and decode it decode this value oops okay here you will get a username and kind of a password hash okay now all you have to do is saving this hash to a new file i have saved this hash to hash.txt file and ran the command john let me close this okay John word list not roots user share now use the word list use rock you 
word list okay and the format forget about the format the file is on my desktop now if you run this command you will get the password you need or the hash or the real password or the cracked password for the previous hash i'm not gonna i'm not gonna run this command right now because it's gonna take some time to find the password and i actually found the password i just i'm showing you the um way how to find it so here as you can see the password is 10 stars one two three okay it's 10 stars okay and now we will stop here and continue with part two where we will try to use that password in order to get access to the ssh server okay now we will stop here and see you in part two